early 2000s. Like yeah. people weren't as out. So it's this unknown concern and I'm scared and mm, what is yes. this? I don't understand how I really feel. I don't want, like boys, I do it because I'm. my mom tells me I'm supposed to marry a man, mm-hmm. but like girls I'm like so attracted to what the fuck's mm-hmm. going on with yeah. me. In San Francisco, Love the it. Lexington Club mm-hmm. was just a full on lesbian bar directly across from my apartment yeah and i would literally stare out the window like a creep and be like man i gotta go down there but yeah. i had a boyfriend so yeah. super conflicting in the yes. early 2000s oh. for me one two three four, five, <laughs> hey i'm mj and i'm brie welcome to the keeping it casual podcast i'm married i'm a mom so i get it and lord save me because i am dating we're more than just a sex positive dating and relationship podcast we want to share the perspectives on every kind of relationship while giving a voice to our listeners plus tons of tips to boss up your life and sex life your vegas girls are here for you let's do it let's do it well, they call it white girl wasted for a reason. Oh, We're getting yeah. white girl wasted, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cheers. Nope. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Uh, keepers, we are drinking white claws. We've got mango and black cherry black this cherry, evening. And you know oh, why? Because yeah. we're sitting in a bar. Ooh, ooh. A bar that's not open yet. <laughs> Can I first say we just almost <laughs> stuck to the pavement on the way in? It's like 117 today. It's not okay. I've been trying to, like, agree to do the podcast naked. I was hoping this might be the episode, but. <laughs> no, it's early we'll enough. See. In the evening, and we're in a bar. I mean, you know, <laughs> fully I, I, it wouldn't bar. be the first time for me. <laughs> fully no. stuck bar. Yeah, right. This week we have an amazing guest who is a major part of the revitalization of downtown Las Vegas. That's right. She's about to open her own bar. Kudos, and uh, she's the event lead at Ferguson's Downtown. Please, Please welcome, welcome fabulous Erica, Erica Bell. Bell. Awesome. <laughs> ding, 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 bells. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of Ferguson's, shout out to our sponsor, Don't Tell Comedy, bringing hey. laughs back to Las Vegas and a city near you. That's right. And uh, the next Vegas show is going to be on Thursday, June 24th at the fabulous Ferguson's downtown. So you can get your tickets now or look for a show near you at DontTellComedy.com. Ah, Hello, so. Erica. What? You want to introduce yourself a little bit to our yeah. fans? I mean, I can't be your introduction of me so uh, <laughs> but yeah erica here at ferguson's downtown i've been with ferguson's jesus covid you know adds like seven years onto your life it but <laughs> i think like three to four years it's kind of hard awesome. to say wow um, yeah and i've been doing events across the board covid happened we shifted lots Ugh. of virtual things okay yeah. lots of like internal operations things mm-hmm. it's just a really cool place because you can really expand your wings and like dabble in stuff yeah. and uh as you guys mentioned like uh i, I get to be one of the, the people here to open a bar it's yeah. gonna be called the ferguson's bar uh, or yeah. maybe oh. the bar we don't really know or yet. ring my bell or ring my bell <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if it was fully my control it'd be something really fun and well, funky. what do you think what do you think if it like if i really could just throw down a name have you thought about it? well there's there's one that comes to my head because i just kind of want to keep it classy uh-huh. it'd be like the bell room yes oh i love that or the bellman i don't know there's mm. like plays on my name just yeah. to mm-hmm. be selfish and be Absolutely. like that's mine yes um there is an opportunity to open up another bar and my boss jen wants to call it the pickle den um which i loved and it would play off the theme of like pickles so I, I, yeah. it's kind of hard because you could be a very traditional person and mm-hmm. be like this is the craft bar this is yeah. the style of yeah. stuff we're gonna serve so i'm gonna name it something like that yeah. or you can yeah. just be like be super goofy and call it whatever you want i know and people love stuff like that they're like we're going down to the pig hop tonight or whatever the right fuck. oh they're like the oh. what and you're like yeah and those things stick oh yeah i you love know? it i love a good themed bar yeah, yeah. like odd fellows which right. is yeah one of my favorite bars Are like, they, they're still open right yeah they're redoing everything so before we play the getting to know you game with you can you tell us a little bit about ferguson's and the growth of downtown since like even just since you've been here for the past three years like it's still grown tremendously it's grown a ton in so many different ways Mm -hmm. i my backstory with ferguson's is i was the producer of first friday oh shit um, hello yeah hi (laughs) seated at the table with them (laughs) And to go even further back before I even lived in Vegas, I grew up in San Francisco. I worked oh. I worked for California Transplant Donor Network. Oh. I was an em- emergency technician. Then I turned into a tissue recovery technician. And I assisted on, like, transplants. She's a doctor. She, I, the <laughs> best doctor's assistant you could ask for. Lisa, I'll, I'll stay wow. there. So anyways, I was working first Friday, and I, I left that nonprofit. 
and I was coming down to Ferguson's mm-hmm. to volunteer for Mark in the Alley oh. that happened across the street. Mm-hmm. Ferguson's yard, mm-hmm. right? Ferguson's proper, let's yeah. just say, mm-hmm. wasn't fully opened yet. And so they're solely surviving, or not surviving, they're thriving just with Mark in the Alley. Yeah. yeah. So I went down, I volunteered a couple times, and then Jen Toller, who's the creative director of Ferguson's downtown, um, kind of like was chatting me up in the warehouse and she goes listen i know you've been volunteering like it's great like i'd love to pay you for your services if you want to like mm-hmm. come and just do events or whatever mm-hmm. kind of just freelance contractor stuff and i go that's great because i just left first friday and yeah she goes, ding 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 yeah <laughs> so then i got kind of pulled in that way mm-hmm. nice she's like this girl's money and she's a doctor yeah (laughs) it's just so awesome because you went from like being a doctor's assistant to like such a create two creative jobs one right after the the next like that's amazing i just you know as somebody who has kind of went from my fun creative job to the serious law job i'm Mm -hmm. like there is hope to get that creative job back yeah (laughs) and i think for you you intertwine it right yeah yeah that's true i think it's so important that like all right we could be serious Mm -hmm. yeah you know at the end of the day it's pretty bland it's kind of boring it just it gets dull qu- pretty quick so whether you were creative mm-hmm. in, in your past life or your younger self mm-hmm. whatever you have to pull it back into your big girl job you like you yeah. just have oh, to yeah, do it for so sure. it's been super cool to be a creative person at Ferguson's downtown mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with events and now I'm stepping more into like an operational side of things I get to dabble in both yeah. you know what I mean and yeah. I'm getting older and the summers are hot so I'm just like <sighs> yeah let's open a bar that sounds yeah. great <laughs> well and this became like one of the, I mean, kind of one of the first cool things happening as soon as like quarantine kind of broke and everything was uh, lifting up and it was like, ooh, there's a dope ass outdoor amphitheater, which yeah. is kind of what the, Fer- you know, what Ferguson's has this really great space where you can be outside and be space and, and the it has shops these beautiful are so shops. Cute. It's such a unique, eclectic space for events and so crafts and for our keepers businesses. who are like don't live here it's yeah. an old motel mm-hmm. that they've renovated into shops and an amphitheater and a coffee shop and a bar coming soon and just everything and you know okay so i went to lva i'm a okay cool yes uh, many, i literally live across the street from lva ah i like those apartments there <laughs> yeah. um so yeah. i went to lva way before the revitalization of downtown so yeah. downtown has just always had such a special spot in my mm-hmm. heart and yeah. now i feel safe walking around here so yeah <laughs> big time you know shout out to tony shea for uh, just r.i.p just completely investing mm-hmm. not only financial everything mm-hmm. into downtown but literally his his self his culture his vision yeah. his creative yeah. his i mean without him it would still be the slums kind of, of Charlotte. It yeah. was, you know. It, yeah. I mean, I see pictures of downtown Las Vegas back in the day, like whoa, yeah, rough, uh, yeah, hardcore, dirty, like no way, and no way. And it's become like the locals' home. It's where the locals play. Absolutely. Like when people come to Vegas and they're like, "Where do I stay?" It's like you stay downtown, man. Go downtown. Yeah. You downtown want to have real fun? Dope. Go downtown. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Great food. Yeah. Great bars. Oh man. Fun shopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Family mm-hmm. friendly. Yes. And, and then just there's. Chicago culture down here totally this artwork is, everywhere yes everywhere if you want that picture with the cool graffiti background or the angel wings or whatever you're looking for come downtown for oh sure. absolutely absolutely influencer heaven it yeah it really is and we have listeners coming down that are going to be doing life is beautiful which right. is back in ferguson's is a big part of that how do you guys play a role in life is beautiful so thank god it's actually part of the property right yeah the we're like space. we're in the footprint last life is beautiful 2019 mm. aww <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what, we what missed 2020. <laughs> we skipped it. Yeah. I'm like, last year? You mean two years ago? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that was right. Yeah. We were open. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we got pulled into their footprint, which was great. Now we are the Ferguson stage. Yes, which is, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Yes. And Market in the Alley happens. Okay. So it's it's awesome. a really great element for concert. <laughs> Jen. She's just like, hey, what's She's going gonna be on? Like, what the fuck were you doing? She's You're like, I'm just chilling. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Chill with the microphone. Guys, it's Jen. <laughs> hide, hide. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, so Ferguson's downtown. We're the Ferguson stage within the footprint. Nice. Market in the alley happens. So it's a really cool uh, addition to a festival. I don't know yes. how many festivals you've gone to, but when All I went them. to Outside Lands in San Francisco, <laughs> oh. 
they also have really cool activations but and they have like a little market mm. but they don't have well maybe i'm being biased because it's mm-hmm. my baby too you know okay. what i mean but like <laughs> we solely just have local creators people that make their own apparel mm-hmm. people that make their own crafts furniture like everything yeah. sunglasses all local made things Can't, it's not a traveling market that just mm-hmm. like festival hops like, in, yeah like you see at every generic festival like people who have never come to life is beautiful there's three really separate parts to life is beautiful mm-hmm. there's music is beautiful which is you get mm-hmm. all your musicians mm-hmm. there's yep. art is beautiful which is local artists actually selling mm-hmm. and there's food is beautiful where you Ugh. get fucking delicious food yes. like it's it's not festival like food. the chefs but then there's also uh, the comedy the section of it oh, yeah. the motivational Education. speakers yeah. Yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. a crazy cool cultural event it just it exactly feels really that. proud to it's be a, a part of it right? event. yeah it's absolutely. not just a music festival it's not just Billie Eilish and Green Day right which they'll be and here, Tame though. Impala and Megan Thee Stallion <laughs> oh my God. and our boy Echo shout out <laughs> he was on the show as well oh, local sweet. artist local hip hop artist he's fucking dope yes. right on <laughs> um, who are you excited to see by the way listen did you watch the Billie Eilish documentary I haven't seen I haven't it, watched it Amazon yet. right or Apple TV Apple TV Apple TV uh, okay. I've literally watched it 10 times so great one, one night I was drunk and mm-hmm. I was very much in my feels and I put it on <laughs> <laughs> and there's this part I'm just gonna ruin it a little bit for you there's this part where she's with her brother mm-hmm. duh yeah. and they're doing this uh, this musical set she's going through like this breakup and she's such an artist and she's such a creative she really is but like this documentary like shows you the struggles of true artists like mm-hmm. I literally think real artists and whatever real artist means to you mm-hmm. yeah they're like reincarnated yeah. through mm-hmm our lives yeah Yeah. they're just people that struggle Mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. just shit you know what i mean yeah so there's this part you know they're on this bed whatever they're floating in the air and she's singing and she's right next to her brother and she just starts to break down and cry and i'm drunk in my feels and i'm just crying Mm -hmm. with her and i'm going rewind play yeah (laughs) rewind play i'm there with you i had a similar moment sober when i listened to her new song um the one she released the slow one about Mm -hmm. um all the higher ups in the industry taking advantage of big problem yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. people i can't remember what it's called but i know what you're talking about yeah it's just that song it just hit me in the feels because i was like is she singing about harvey weinstein or a personal experience or what's going on you could imagine her being a teenager and being thrust into this life of like pop stardom and all the things they're expecting from her like oh you know yeah. push your tits up let's be a sex symbol oh, yeah. let's you're a woman you gotta follow all these I mean rules. even like Taylor Swift who's not my favorite person had an issue with a radio like program director groped her in a photo yeah that's like, what it was oh, Ugh, oh, men are thinking, come on. thinking he was <laughs> men uh, do better dude, dude yeah suck. yeah <laughs> but you gotta watch you gotta watch the documentary Good it's way. gonna change your life I, so I, you're I, excited for Billy well, and I already saw her yeah and yeah. I'm just like yeah bring it on let's go again yeah bring her back and she's like older and I think she's really like coming into herself like she is that? i think she's coming into her voice especially like because like when i first heard her i was like okay she's basically like talking on pitch cool but now like she's actually singing yeah mm-hmm. it's cool I'm, <laughs> I'm i'm excited for her for me like i'm such a person i'm such a worker bee and i don't mm-hmm often get to like deep dive into stuff Mm -hmm. and that's my own fault you know what I mean Mm -hmm. but I love just walking through the festival and just walking into music and people are losing their shit and I'm just like oh fuck yeah this person is really good yeah Yeah. you know like Megan what is it Megan the Stallion Stallion. oh I'm stoked oh my god I'm stoked for her I actually saw Green Day when he was out here and had his mental breakdown during the iHeart festival so I'd like to see Green Day again (laughs) For realsies. All grown up. <laughs> All grown up. <laughs> okay. So with June being Pride Month, can you tell us what Ferguson's is doing event-wise to celebrate? That is probably the most exciting thing right now. We partnered with the Center uh-huh. of Las Vegas, which uh-huh. is our neighbor yes. right down the way. Shout out to uh, Ashante, who's leading so much good stuff down there. Okay. She's the one that does the events. I don't really know her title, but she does like community outreach. Mm-hmm. So she okay. literally works with like our young queer communities yeah. lgbtq yes. plus a whatever yeah so we're doing market in the alley friday evening okay. and saturday evening because it's so hot right now yeah and they're producing vendors and music and food at the center and we're producing them here and oh, what we're basically awesome. trying to do is just connect and get people to travel to them and support the actual center yeah and mm-hmm. realize that the center is there it is a hub for all your lgbtq plus stuff yes yep. all your queer stuff everything you need 
Nice. Um, and then also get people to discover us. And we can put links for um, yeah, that in the show notes as yeah, well. Because yeah. for, for our out-of-town keepers, the center is, like she said, the LGBTQ plus hub. But like they offer counseling for teens mm-hmm. who are afraid to come out or have just come out and maybe possibly got kicked out of their home. They offer HIV, STD, STI testing for free. Yeah. Um, they have so much that's going on there. I tried to work at the center and they were like, yeah, we don't need you. <laughs> I wasn't experienced enough at the time, but I tried. I tried to work You're like, there. you can volunteer. <laughs> you want to work the front desk? <laughs> no, I love that. And when is that, that event's going on this weekend? Or so is that going to be? Weekend. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. But, but I mean, we, can, we can support and repost on social media yeah, and promote exactly. awesome. everything. But it's good to know what is going on down here. And you guys also have stuff at the end of the month, too. Your, is that we the end of the month? Don't Tell Comedy, like you said. Next yes. week. Next week, Thursday. And then Field Trip is our new music, new concert series yeah super so exciting cool. we just did our first one and thankfully the mandates kind of lifted so yeah. people were really going out mm-hmm. feeling a little bit more confident mm-hmm. more people are getting vaccinated and if you want to wear your mask you wear your mask whatever yeah. you, but everybody was out and it was just felt like a really great night yeah that's how and, i felt uh, at the last don't tell comedy too i was yeah. just like oh my god this yeah. is like in real life again for sure this has become a quickly dear to our heart space yeah. ferguson's i know and just i getting love it to know <laughs> you and your staff we've worked with rachel and nick before from the and it was just like what a great team to collaborate with yes. like and they're doing so so many things like above just like we're here to party it's like there's a lot of a lot of depth to what's going on right. here and, and you have signature cocktails yeah <laughs> i mean i think we can make one together i oh, think so shit. the keeping uh, it casual no exactly that's perfect <laughs> i mean come on yeah it's, it's got to be something that doesn't get them too drunk so probably a lot of uh well you know <laughs> we're here for casual tonight i want to keep you here for a long time and a good time yeah. i don't want to get you dr- like so tanked in the be- like in the early in the evening Neither yeah. do we. Neither do we. we got to walk you out. We're big on vodka <laughs> drinks, so we'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I Fancy vodka drinks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we like. Yes. We're going to make it happen. Let's do yes. it. Yes. Um, <laughs> question. So what does pride mean to you? I was thinking about this because I knew it was mm-hmm. going to come up. Pride for me, pride month, it's great. Mm-hmm. It's great to come together. It's great to mm-hmm. celebrate that. Mm-hmm. This is my opinion. Mm-hmm. For example, when gay marriage became legal, I was living in San Francisco. I didn't care to celebrate that because I wasn't going to let a government stop me yeah. from becoming bonded to my person, my yes. partner. Yes. And I just became engaged last October or <gasps> during COVID. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> and I had this discussion with my fiance, Alina, and I go, yeah, we don't have to legally get married. Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. just draft up a contract, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to pay the government or allow the government to tell me you can do that. Yeah, exactly. That's how and I feel about marriage too, but, yeah. but but I didn't have to fight for my rights to get married. Right. You know? So right. that's just how I feel about it. I'm like, it's fine. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm that, I'm just a different type of person who's like, mm-hmm. no, I'm going to do what I want mm-hmm. yeah as long as it's good and it's right and yeah. my morals are aligned and i'm not hurting anybody yeah and no one no one can really stop me but yeah we're legally gonna get married through the government because that's what she wants yeah and it's important to her yeah and so i respect it yeah now with like pride it's like i'm always proud of who i am mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yes let's celebrate everything that other people have sacrificed so we mm-hmm. have this safe community and stuff yeah. and i'm all for it yeah. and i would love to throw my own pride party like if the bar was open right now yeah. Yeah. It'd be full on it'd be yeah. a great time but then i have this and i want you guys to chime in on how you feel about it now it's pride month right mm-hmm. so all these different companies are pushing product oh. rainbow product it annoys me yeah right because exactly. now you're making money off of a culture I, yeah. I agree with that i'm like i don't care what this company that is not like wasn't started by lgbt p uh, oh. lgbt person does for pride month you know how I, I relate it to last year when black lives matter really really started yep. when every company sent out an email like this is what we're doing to prove that black lives matter to us like to me that's how i feel every time i get a hey guess what it's pride month and we're morphe makeup and i'm like okay yeah yeah no. where have you been for the last yeah, yeah exactly 30 years i'm yeah. like okay so i've fought this longer than you as an ally so mm-hmm. that, that's just the way i feel about it now i know as an ally my opinions probably don't matter that much oh, but yeah. every, everyone's opinion matters yeah especially but when you're an ally just recognize what is going on and how we've moved forward and yeah. the bigotry and just the ignorance to it and right. just taking a moment to celebrate <laughs> everything but yeah, yeah I hear you both with like our shop this month and it's just all colorful it's all and rainbows yeah. right. fucking 
fuck be off. Like, oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coach yeah. just did this whole commercial line or something, and it's yeah. all rainbow colored uh. stuff. And I'm like, great. <laughs> when you sell this $400 clutch, mm-hmm. how much percentage of proceeds go to, I don't know, a place like the center? Yes, yeah. exactly. Why don't you kick it back to like cities that need support for their trans youth or their gay youth? and give yeah. support in that sense because yeah you're charging buku dollars for mm-hmm. this really fancy rainbow purse with your brand on it yeah mm-hmm. awesome yeah. you're just pocketing cash mm-hmm. yeah you know gay men in, in the world just make tons more money <laughs> i grew up in san francisco i can say this yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i just got back from san francisco recently and i gotta say like it still gets me a little choked up to see gay men just out and proud of like or just gay oh, couples dude, in great. general just holding hands i'm like oh yeah. god i remember like because even i mean i graduated 2005 i went to lva so i grew up in a very different world but also at the same time i remember when i was a freshman in high school the men who would just say oh i'm bisexual because they were afraid to fully right. come out because For they sure. were afraid to not like women yeah. mm-hmm. so when i see stuff like that i just get so like you, go go you grew up you grew up in las vegas i moved from mm-hmm. albuquerque in 2005 to san francisco yeah. oh, wow. but i like grew up all of my cousins live out there and yeah. stuff mm-hmm. filipino filipino irish everyone's yeah. okay. in, in san francisco okay. yes they are <laughs> <laughs> and uh i was overwhelmed at the age of 18 i was super homophobic at the age of 18 wow right because it's super weird because in albuquerque there wasn't gay culture Mm -hmm. and then i was still you know it's early 2000s like people weren't as out so it's this unknown concern and i'm scared and Mm, what is this i don't understand how i really feel i don't like like boys i do it because i'm my mom tells me i'm supposed to marry a man Mm -hmm. but like girls i'm like so attracted to what the fuck's Mm -hmm. going on with me and then i'm down in the mission district in san francisco the lexington club which is now closed sucks Mm -hmm. was just a full-on lesbian bar directly across from my apartment yeah and i would literally stare out the window like a creep and be like man i gotta go down there but i had a boyfriend so super conflicting in the early 2000s for me and then finally i date a couple more dudes whatever and then i get i work in i'm working in the er i get hit on by Mm -hmm. this chick 10 years older than me she becomes my girlfriend for Mm -hmm. like a couple three years and uh we break up and then i i move back into the mission district Mm -hmm. and i just I got a job at the Lexington Club. Uh-huh. I started working. I yes. came into myself. Yes. And I had the great support of that community. And it, it's a, it's unfortunate. It's gone now. A lot of lesbian, mm-hmm. solely lesbian bars or clubs or yeah. you know, places are yeah. closed. There's literally 21 lesbian bars in this nation. Yeah. Wow. Oh Which is well, insane. I mean, there's what's going on? There's, I mean, is there anything in Vegas anymore? There there's, isn't a lesbian no. bar. Yeah. There's, there was there's the, the gay club. There was there's, the free right. zone, but that was it over by free the zone. double down. Do- double down. So there's free zone mm-hmm. right there's in that area. They call it the Fruit Loop. They call it the Fruit Loop. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, yeah, and it's it's, it's free zone uh, toolbox. What is it? So the toolbox or something? <laughs> like that. There's quads. Yeah, and then piranha, piranha, and piranha. And yes. then there's oh, something else I don't know. What and it then is. over here we have the garden up by Artifice. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That just opened up, and then I just went with uh, Ashanti from the center mm-hmm. to Flex, okay. which is right on Charleston near. Flex was the first bar I went to ever what? at 17 years old. <laughs> They weren't IDing, so I was just like, "Fuck yeah!" I'm all right, in. I'm walking I'm in. No, in. they'll take all your money. Yes. So, <laughs> so there's this there's this uh, lesbian night. Mm-hmm. There's always like a ladies' night. Yeah. But there's no lesbian bar here. Yeah. But there's this lesbian night at Flex every second and fourth Monday. I just went. Okay. Oh it's called Lilith. All right. It was Gosh. great, and they had drag king show usually it's a it's like oh man this isn't gonna be good oh no i feel like a drag I king show would go. be awesome let's go i want to go okay i want to go oh yes. my god you let's get two it. beers for seven bucks it's insane i do i see time. the drag king show like that's amazing and and it would probably make me very sexually confused <laughs> <laughs> no i mean they, they, she's like yes it will it will don't worry like, they did a really good job and um the host is uh i hope i don't butcher this madam av or ava sorry i just met her okay um Shanti took me down there and 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 I brought my fiance and we pulled a couple of my friends. I even took my friend uh Chef Jess over at Main Street, yeah. a straight girl. Yeah. I was like, yo, you're gonna go to the gay bars with us tonight? We're gonna do some gay shit. It's pride. She goes, Okay. So <laughs> I wanna go do some gay shit. Yeah, yeah let's go do gay shit. <laughs> Doing gay shit, whether you're gay or not, it's just still yeah. so much fun. Yes. And the drinks are really affordable. Yeah. But it is I mean, but it is a shame there are no like just lesbian bars. It's more, you know, it is more geared to men. So I think they, they, they have spend some, money. There's yeah. a niche in Las Vegas that's not being met everybody. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. listen Mm -hmm. this is the problem Mm -hmm. there's not a lesbians i don't know what it is i want your opinion on this again they just don't spend money they don't go out they don't spend money at bars girls i don't i don't have an opinion (laughs) on that we we want to stay home on our couch and watch (laughs) fucking sex in the city and drink wine i'm down for that order me a pizza i'm never leaving i'm staying there okay we need sex in the city spinning on the reel in the background you know bars i can guarantee the pickle bar is probably not gonna be the next (laughs) (laughs) would that be great though all of a sudden that fucking would be that would be it that would be that would be good but okay. men, men did go the out they dominate bar. I feel like I'd be really upset if I went to the lesbian bar and I didn't get asked to like hey honey can I buy you a drink oh I'd my be god. like do I not look pretty tonight oh my god <laughs> yes we need to find a lesbian bar we need to go we need to go yes. do, we'll, we'll do another episode like another podcast oh there oh my god and live from the lesbian bar that's right live and like the, oh whoever hit, gets hit on the most pays everyone's tab I love it <laughs> that sounds I'm, amazing I'm not combing my I'm not washing my hair <laughs> get your flannels ready yeah right they'll be like are you in the Dragon King show Dragon King yeah. show yeah right that's okay I'll be pretty for you guys oh I fucking love it <laughs> Happy Pride Month, Keepers! Happy Pride Month! So to celebrate this month of unified love, we've teamed up with our new partners at System Joe for a super sexy and slippery giveaway. June is also the month we are throwing down the quickie challenge. Hell yeah. And what better way to get a quickie in than some delicious System Joe lube? And they are delicious, girl. Them flavors? Mm Mm-hmm. How about that white chocolate raspberry? How about that salted caramel? Yes. And all you have to do to win is rate and review Keep It A Casual podcast on Apple Podcasts it helps the show grow it does or you can join the patreon at the five dollar level get those specialty podcasts every month winners announced the last wednesday of every month details to enter at keeping it casual podcast.com now back to the show Okay. All right. So, so we uh, transition into some getting to know you. So we love to play this little getting to know you game. Yeah. We're going to throw some silly randoms at you. And just give us your perspective, and then we'll lean into a little more uh, of yeah. your relationship. Yeah. Design. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I love it. On your Instagram, you posted that you were feeling beat up from a long day of life, and you went on a random road trip with your fiance. But since we can't always just hop in the car and go, what's your favorite place to escape to out here? Okay. If we have to stay in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. um, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you're me Dang. and you have to work tomorrow. <laughs> It's got to be Red Rocks. Yeah. I love Red Rock. Whether you just drive through the loop mm-hmm. um, or if you stop and like go for a walk. I mean, it's really hot right now, but it's that place of beauty. Mm-hmm. So many people travel to Las Vegas to go to the Red Rocks. Yeah. And I feel like so many locals don't take advantage of that. And it's it's peaceful, beautiful, sunrise, sunset. You can't beat it. Yeah. There's so many different areas to go. And it is a little bit cooler. Like little bit, little trails and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, trails. And it's basically like, for anybody who doesn't know, it's like a 13 mile loop. Loop, like you drive in and then you can kind of stop and get off and there's paths. My favorite is uh, Calico Tanks. Yeah. Mm. I think it's Tanks. You, it's about a maybe and three hours round trip, but you get to the top and you have this little peak that overlooks the whole city and it's beautiful. Yes. And it's if you don't really want to hike, fun. there's like a little farm you could go visit. Um, we have a famous donkey there. We have a famous, oh. I'm pretty sure it's a famous burrow, a famous donkey or I something. I know what you're talking about. It's yes. Kind of like they do like horse riding and stuff there yes, too, right? Yes, they do. Yes. Okay. Okay. I know. Yeah. It's like right on that main road, but you can't miss it. It's by a scenic route. Yeah. It's it like is. a scenic it's, pull off. Yeah. It has right like a little, way. yes. Okay. Yeah. I, that's a beautiful suggestion for Vegas mm-hmm. too. And people just want to get off the strip and do something that's actually like, you know nature and just yeah. and you can you can pull it up online and find the little the little paths and stuff you can yeah, walk. Yeah, if it's, you see, when uh, you see those pictures on Instagram of these women and these like beautiful red rocks and they're like I'm in Las Vegas and you're like that doesn't look like the strip <laughs> that's where they're at. That's, yeah, that's not fucking I Vegas. mean for for someone like me where I'm downtown constantly yeah. communicating mm-hmm. with City people life. with the community mm-hmm. working all the time planning all this stuff my getaway is simply like nature. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. me out of the city. Yeah. Let me be around some peaceful That's beautiful right. rocks just talk to the rocks <laughs> the tumbleweeds <laughs> you just cry over here by this, nice. this joshua tree yeah i like um, exactly. i like to hike uh mary jane falls up in mount charleston that's one of my f- it's a hard hike i've heard but it's one of my favorite hikes yeah i've done it it will definitely yeah. it's a booty buster for sure it is but you'll lose 20 degrees going up mount charleston <laughs> yes you do you, you said true. las vegas i was gonna say mount charleston yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. We're, I know, we, we're all the surrounding areas. You don't want to go out to like, like Lake Mead is just super hot. You can hike all over here. I love a little, a little in town hike. One of my favorites is Lone Mountain. I mean, it's like, oh, yeah. it's like an hour and 20 minutes. You go up to the top and down, you just scramble those rocks and you can fuck it up in the morning. Oh, yeah. Easy. Do it by 7 a.m. Yeah. Easy. Mary Jane Falls is a good one. Big Falls is a really good one, but you think Mary Jane Falls is hard? Yeah. Big Falls is even harder. My COVID body is like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> go back to the car. <laughs> Metro Pizza is oh. really close to here. We can go there instead. Yeah. <laughs> Another good, uh, delicious pizza. Oh, God. Um. Okay. All right. So, so being that you're a doctor, you're a producer, <laughs> you're a bartender, you are all these, you know, you're into all these things. What's, what's something you do when you feel like you're being the best version of yourself? Like, what's something when you really feel like I'm giving back, I'm feeling good, I'm filled up? My optimal? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You're just like, when you're oh, like, fucking awesome. Completely at peace, and you're like, I am doing what I need to do right now. This yeah. is exactly where I it's need to be. Feeding your soul, you know? My brain's racing. Um, I know. <laughs> throwing the hard hitting questions at you here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, there's a lot. Like, I think when I feel at my, my prime, for example, field trip, probably. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I just did an interview, like, they just pulled me into it, producer Zon- mm-hmm. Zoneal, I'm sorry, Zoneal, dope name. from DTLV, uh, he produces Field Trip, he didn't want to be on camera, mm-hmm. so then they grabbed me and they, like, threw me in, and <laughs> I just, I can rock an interview, no problem. Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and then I came out of that, and I'm sitting on top of our, we're in front of our office, kind of like our little mm-hmm. perch, and, mm-hmm. and a couple of my staff is there. And Where Lana teammate. Del Rey filmed her music video, uh-huh. would you say? Uh-huh. Opposite side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know you love that. Um, I'm sitting with my team and like the yard's filling up with people and the music's really good uh. and the sound's really good. And it's that moment of like, for me, there's so much fear and events coming back. Mm. Yeah. And there's yeah. so many rules and mandates and there's like this big stress. And like for this event, my boss was like, listen, let it go. We're mm-hmm. going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm like, okay, trust you. I trust you. Yeah. yeah. And in that moment, I literally was just a consumer of all the hard work yeah. that people these teams pulled together Mm -hmm. and it was happening and it was happening so well and everyone was having such a great time. Those are the moments that I love what I do. Yes. It's not me accomplishing something extravagant. It's Mm -hmm. simply sitting back and looking at people. Don't tell comedy is my most favorite event. I love it too. Totally. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. It's so great. And everything comes together and Nick and Rachel just, they get it. Mm -hmm. And we as a, as a, as a, like a a threesome, Mm -hmm. we get it together. Yeah. And that's why I'm just like, dude, I'll follow you anywhere. If you need help, I'll set up anything. Like, let's do it all day long. Yeah. And it's those moments of like, everyone's laughing. The bartenders are having fun. Yeah. The staff yeah. is having fun. The hosts are yes. having fun. The comedians are doing the thing, or the performers are killing it, and their yeah. energy is so high, and they're having the best time ever. That's when everything in my world is complete. Fuck yeah, I totally agree. Uh, when, I feel like I'm warm I in my heart too. Right I'm like, now. when you're just like, I'm putting so much into this, and you know what you yeah. do? You're just like, I'm creating memories. I'm creating moments. Yeah. I'm creating Instagram mm-hmm. filters and photos, and yeah. and yeah. these two might hook up and get married, <laughs> and these yeah. this guy might get blown finally. You know, just, yeah. but it's just like you see all these people together and just creating these these friendships and memory. That is yeah. so yeah. special. And you're just like, I helped create this space and this energy, and just yeah. like, uh, and I'm sitting back and and enjoying it I, so I, you much. Know, I will say so this, um, you know, I've, I've been coming to Don't Tell Comedy since they started their, well, before they started their residency here, they've done a few other shows, but I've right. been coming to Don't Tell Comedy through all the Ferguson shows. Being on your guys' stage, mm-hmm. it was one of the probably top five coolest experiences in my lifetime. Like MJ and I have done live shows. We've done live sold out shows before, but that stage, I don't know what it is. And just looking out into the amphitheater yard and seeing all those people and everybody just like drunk and happy was just. <laughs> a moment yeah. in my life that I was like under the stars and just yeah yeah it's, it's magical the, no and it when you look at Ferguson's Ferguson's motel back yeah. back in the day it was all one level you know what yeah I mean? shout out to Jen Toller like she created this space recreated this space and added to this space Damn. so perfectly yeah. yeah yeah that's the reason yeah. what you just shared is what she wanted people to say yeah because a stage an amphitheater can be an amphitheater they usually all look the same yeah mm-hmm. but we dug down 
20, 25 feet, whatever, built in that coffee shop yeah. and then gave a rooftop. Yeah. And I think as a performer or host, whatever, when you're standing center stage and you're looking down the yard mm-hmm. up to Fremont Street yeah. Yeah. and then you also have an audience on the roof deck, yeah. Yeah. that's insane because you don't often get that. Yeah. It's usually, think of Brooklyn Bowl, one of my favorite venues ever. Oh, yeah. I love Brooklyn Bowl. Yeah, it's such yeah. a great venue. And then they have big GA floor section mm-hmm. and left and right. It's bowling. And the motherfucker's bowl- bowling. <laughs> yeah. On your right, <laughs> <laughs> but, they're, but they're there. They're yeah. like kind of above you, yeah. whatever. You just so you get in, encapsulated with like yeah. people yeah. and the energy. It feels yeah. so good. Yeah, like it's so important to have that kind of energy. Yeah, yes, it is. And then like for for anybody who doesn't come for an event, like just going to the shops and stuff here, and y'all, <laughs> some of the cleanest bathrooms I've seen downtown. Oh my God, right? <laughs> I remember walking into them. I was like, it's air conditioned and it's clean. Yeah, <laughs> it's you know, it's funny. Someone started an Instagram uh, for our bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that's how clean they are i didn't that's, know that existed that's how nice they are we're gonna follow them at yeah Ferguson's i, I bathroom. hope it's still Ferguson's up i haven't downtown. dabbled in that i haven't looked i haven't dabbled in the bathroom and i hope that person's still doing it but it was very cool that's yeah grand. no i remember the first time i walked in the bathrooms here i was like is this real life right now this isn't what like oh okay yeah, yeah. No, it's just it's just such a tasteful sexy venue and just bring your bring your date here bring mm-hmm. bring yourself here because the magic is happening but i love that you said that because yeah. i feel i feel the same way and, and especially when brie and i did our little sold out shows we were like oh we're creating memories and oh friendships and things are happening and they're definitely gonna hook up and you know she oh, was yeah. like she just caught me in my feels sake all that i, I was know. like i was gonna cry i was like yeah me too oh, yeah <laughs> all absolutely. right so we're gonna get into a little bit of a relationship oh, let's do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you're clearly a very busy person between working on opening a bar doing events at ferguson's and you still manage to maintain a relationship can you give an example of how your partner supports your personal growth and your professional growth mm-hmm. my fiance Lena is a godsend I, that poor girl I've put her through the ringer Aww. and the best part of it granted COVID was a hell of a time Oof. we all Ferguson staff were running we were working super super hard Mm-hmm. And we uh, thankfully didn't have to let people go. We That's didn't have amazing. to. We, we took a little bit of a pay decrease. It wasn't for very long. Super, super fortunate. That's um, amazing. That's awesome. Again, shout out to Jen Chawler for yeah. uh, caring for us. But all that buildup of stress mm-hmm. and yeah. constant working oh. and fear and whatever, yeah. it does something to you. And like, it, where's all this going to go? Is this all energy dude, for nothing? Are we coming mm-hmm. back? It yeah. fucks with your mental health. Oh, yeah. And I'm mm-hmm. still recovering mm-hmm. from that and dealing it. with it. So to your question, she's been a godsend. She's dealt with me. We've had her arguments. Mm-hmm. She goes, I'm never leaving you. <laughs> so <laughs> so you, you figure it out. Go to therapy. Do whatever you got to do. <laughs> totally going back to therapy. Thank oh God they exist. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but as far as, like, her, was your question her support? Yeah. 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 How does she help you in your personal and professional growth? I mean, I see she comes out to all the events. Yeah. She tries. I mean, she she works in hospitality. She's over yeah. at the Cosmopolitan. Okay. Uh, she's a floor her. manager for a restaurant. Nice. Uh, for at Chino Poblano. It's delicious. Go oh, eat there. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, Mexican Asian fusion. Cosmo oh, yeah. is yeah. one of my favorite places, y'all. Yeah. 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 Let's go. <laughs> And, and she gets it too. It's it's a dynamic of we are both hospitality people. Mm-hmm. Mm. We both hit walls constantly. Mm-hmm. We both have rough days emotionally. You're dealing with people. You're trying to support. You're, yep. I, I'm dedicated to a community of people. Mm-hmm. I'm here to make safe space for you. Mm-hmm. And she's getting yelled at by high rollers. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. When I ring the bell, when I tap out and I mm-hmm. say, I really need this. Yeah. I really need you to just like pet me, tell me I'm pretty yeah. and yeah. me something. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she gets it. She She's on it. You know what I mean? And I think what we learned the most through COVID is like communication. Mm -hmm. And for me personally, checking myself before I speak Mm -hmm. because I'll come so fired up with emotion and I'm a Scorpio. So it's worse. I'm a Pisces, so uh, <laughs> freaking water signs, man. Uh. We're the best. I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all um, be, y'all be. We emotion- got a lot of passion. We're emotional so ninjas. Emotional ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, Alina is just she takes cues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I can tell her, yo, this is what I need, mm-hmm. she's gonna make it happen. And for her, vice versa, whatever. Oh. We, we're kind of new still, you know what I mean? We've mm-hmm. only been, we, we dated for a year. We've only, I, we just got engaged yes. October 10th yeah. or 9th. Wow. And, uh, you have a Libra engagement. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I proposed to her here. <gasps> ah! It was a, 
It was a movie. It was the best event I ever produced. Okay, okay. please. Break, can you break it down? Can break you break it down? It down? Okay, break you want to know what I did? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Mexican-Italian. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very big family. Very hardcore culture. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Filipino-Irish. Yeah. Raised by my mom. No one else. Oh, very wow. singular yeah. person. Mm-hmm. Very independent at a young, young age. So mm-hmm. I knew. I was so nervous to ask permission, but I knew I needed to. And I yes. wanted to. You know, out of respect. Yeah. So her brother came to visit. He helped me pick out her engagement ring. So that was one thing. I love that. Then I call her dad and I film it on my little GoPro thing. And he's got me bawling on camera Aww. as I'm asking permission. He gives all me all this advice and whatever. And I listen to his advice as I go through moments with her. We just bicker or we have hangry fights and it's stupid shit. Mm-hmm. COVID happened, whatever. Mm-hmm. Fights. And his advice reigns in my head. I love him. And then I hit her uh, mom and her stepdad FaceTime me at Gargis Wine Bar. Have you been there yet? No. <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding? Let's go after this. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm at Garji's Wine Bar. They FaceTime me. I was trying to like do it at the office mm-hmm. to ask permission. And I'm like choked up and I'm asking. And then her mom starts crying. I start crying. I'm there for a work meeting. Mario walks out from the back and he goes, is Erica crying? Like he's so confused. That was the ask part. No. Then I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly her whole family down or have her whole family fly down whoever could right for covid yeah i got my mom on board i go my mom used to be a high roller so she gets these free rooms sometimes yeah. i go yo i need some rooms <laughs> my mom was like i got you so we put put Love everyone it. up that flies in at the silverton casino oh i get every single member of my team on board everyone has a role here's like the whole plan cody who's one of my best friends who does marketing for us mm-hmm. i think you guys have met i go cody you're in charge of Valina. you have to get her to get dressed dress nice like distract her and then you have to get her here on time okay and then eric and ava were doing the sound oh let me get to the point we had told alina that i was accepting an award <laughs> Oh my God. So we. Which you were. Right. (laughs) Her love forever. For eternity. So I go, babe, I'm I'm getting an award. Like, you need to be at Ferguson's on this day, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I go, I'm going to be busy all day. I'm going to change on site. But if you can come down, it'd be great. I go, there's going to be like food and pictures and all this stuff. And she goes, of course I'll be there. I call her boss and I go, hey, Alina's going to ask you for a day off. You got to give it to her because I'm going to propose. And I go, I'd love for you to come down. She goes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. So her boss is in on it, right? Oh, my God. So then I come to my team and I go, all right, this is what we're going to do. I go, we're going to record a video that's going to be played at this event. Mm -hmm. And I get Ian, who curates Mark in the Alley. Mm -hmm. I go, Ian, you're going to start this video. It's going to go from snow and it's going to cut right into you. While this is being tested, Alina is going to somehow get dragged in to watch the video to check for sound and audio to mm-hmm. make sure it's working while everybody else is running around and I'm nowhere to be found. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So then it cuts to Ian and then it goes from Ian and it goes to me on the video. I so have chills my ears. I know. <laughs> so while the video's playing, it's me just talking my shit like, hey, Erica Bell, Ferguson's event lead, <laughs> yeah. producing events. I couldn't do it without like the support of my staff, my friends, my mom. Your acceptance speech. I'm, yeah, totally, right? <laughs> <laughs> like who the who I am, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it cuts to like, and I couldn't have done this without my beautiful girlfriend Alina. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, pictures of us start coming up <gasps> on this video. Oh. <laughs> And granted, I made this video literally that morning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I was like, if this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so then these these pictures come up, and I just, I'm just t- saying all these really sweet things. Like, she's always supported me. I couldn't do anything without her. She's always been on my side. Like, I, I, I look forward to our future. All this all this really romantic stuff. Yeah. Pictures coming up, pictures mm-hmm. coming up. So meanwhile, all of our closest friends are hidden in the market shop, which is one of the shops here. And then her, all her family that flew in, her nana, her auntie, oh her mom, her stepdad, her sister, oh. her dad. Who else? There's there's a couple of other family members mm-hmm. that flew in, are hidden in Mothership Coffee. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. And at a certain point, our, this song comes on. This song, Bazzy, uh, I Fucking Love You. It's called yes. I Fly. Love it's like, it was like one yeah. of our songs. And so when the song comes on, then all the family knows to come out. She's still looking at the screen. Eric and Ava are like, do you see it? Are you hearing stuff and she's like yeah guys like what are you talking about and then the, as the pictures are going she goes oh and then the song keeps on she's like i was just talking to her about this song this morning <laughs> and then i'm like tucked away <laughs> looking through this door by myself waiting for my cue that i've created oh, oh my god so i walk out from like the kind of where the 
the planters are by the rooftop. Yeah. She's center stage looking backward. That, yeah. You know, not toward the grass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And looking at this TV. And then I run out behind her at this certain point of the song, step her back uh-huh. to this one point that Eric, our sound guy, DJ Wisdom, yeah. was like, you got to move her over here. And I'm like, why? He goes, because this light's going to go boom and hit you guys. So then as soon as I walk her over to this thing, he hits a button. The light shines down. I drop to a knee, present <gasps> the ring. <laughs> Are you she, crying? You're like, you make me cry over here. <laughs> like, oh my God. Up and she there. starts to go, Ooh, like she starts to whine. <laughs> and I didn't, I couldn't even get it out. I couldn't even get it out. I'm on a <laughs> knee and she's crying and I'm crying. And she's like, Ooh, like literally didn't even say, will you marry me? I just yeah. like showed her. And she's like, and, then, and I stuck her finger. And as I, as I'm embracing her, I throw the thumbs up up. <laughs> like here we her. did it. I'll show you the video. <laughs> and everyone in the in on the grass and all of her friends have now come out on the rooftop. Oh, she still hasn't seen it. She has no clue. Oh and then God. everyone's like, Congratulations and like big roar and oh. she turns around and she's just so overwhelmed because oh like she sees her nana. Like it's oh. COVID. Nana shouldn't be flying right now. <laughs> Nana's, Nana's like, here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and then like her dad and like everyone. Oh. It was amazing. Oh. And then our friends and then we went we went right into just like a party. Oh. Like I had my own bar. My my friend Bree Lynn, who works for Maestro Dobel Tequila, made us our own drinks. Nice. <sighs> yeah, I wish I had my thing. I'd show you the menu. Oh my and, god. Uh, yeah. Jesus. Men, you will never top that. You will <laughs> never do better. No. You'll never do you good hire enough. Hire me, I'll make you look really good. <laughs> oh my god. Men, I, I always promote um, on this podcast for men to do better, but men can't do better. You can't. You can't. You just won. My name is Erica Bell. I'm you, at Ferguson's downtown. You just won. <laughs> She's also doing proposal planning. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably get a flash mob going because you know your girl wants a flash mob <laughs> when Let's she go. proposes her. Um, cheers uh, to that. That cheers. is beautiful. That Congratulations. Is amazing. Thank you you made was, me tear up a little bit. I was like, is she going to make both of us cry? Is Bree crying? Because I'm not crying. I'm, Best, crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. crying. Best thing I ever produced that was that. Beautiful. Oh nothing my God, nothing that's went amazing. wrong. Amazing. Nothing went astray. That at is all. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she I was, just. So now we know you Holy definitely shit. know how to speak to her love language. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, I don't even know how we can continue on. That was such a beautiful story. I Just know. a couple more before we yeah, you fly. Yeah, we do this all but night. We were, we were actually going to say, uh, do, what's a way she speaks to your love language? We are um, complete foodies, and she cooks. Oh, but, yes. like, I worked in culinary <laughs> events. I know. I saw at, your uh, video a, of you making Italian food, and I was oh, really crushed into it. it. Mm-hmm. I never made stuffed shells before. Go it to my Instagram area. Erica S. Bell. Yeah. She uh, Erica it. underscore S. Bell. I made these really good stuffed shells. Spell it real quick, though. E R I C A underscore S B E L L. Oh, there you my go. Gosh. You're going to have like weird DMs of like, I need you to help me get my shit together because I'm about to like. <laughs> I'm about to propose. Help me. And I decided I wasn't doing it right. If at people all. In- <laughs> inquire to me, like, I need help. Or hey, I fucked up. I really need to treat my girl right, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I'm I'm all for that. Yeah. I'm all there. I'm there Damn. for the recovery. Let's yeah. go. I'll help you all day long. Yes. Um, if my husband slides into the DM. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> if something extra ordinary, extra unordinary happens to you, that was me. Of course, <laughs> I will know. I'll know all whose fault is. I'll be like, well done. Well there was, done. Like sir. I was when I was shopping for her Christmas present. I was like, you've been talking about it for a long time. Like I'm worried Chris might get it for you. She goes, Chris ain't gonna get that for me. Whatever no, it is. No. And I was like, but you've been talking about it. She's like, don't worry about it. And then I got it, and Chris was like, boys, there's. No way I would have bought that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Boys, Boys, man. Yeah. Food. So, she, yeah, with so food, she speaks to your love. Totally. Language. When we got together, I weighed 20 pounds less. And that was like, <laughs> that was pre COVID, right? Ah, yeah. That's um, good stuff. But she loves culinary. And I worked in culinary events for a really long time. Mm-hmm. And when we got together, actually, when we were talking, we were just talking really platonically. I was dating somebody up, someone else. Mm-hmm. She was dating everyone. Mm-hmm. My girl. She was keeping it Dude, casual. Yeah. <laughs> no, very much so. <laughs> like, it was so funny. I was talking with her the other day. And I'm like, you know, you were being totally loosey goosey <laughs> i was being totally loosey goosey and i think that's what makes us okay like yeah. i think that's what makes us stronger yeah when you it's meet like, two people in a hoe phase right? <laughs> yeah and i love her hoe stories because yeah. i was just like dude you're you're turning them out ah, <laughs> like good for you fuck yeah <laughs> i was like i i used to do that stuff but then i just i really fell in love with my career uh-huh. i mean i didn't do great things right before <laughs> aline and i got together like mm-hmm. before we even went on our first date i was dating somebody else 
this is another story. This is mm-hmm. terribly great. Mm-hmm. And hopefully the person that's on the receiving end of this doesn't hear this. But whatever. Yeah. She yeah. knows. And they tell their own <laughs> shit. So we don't have our billboards up yet. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> so I was dating the girl. <laughs> the big mistake. Never date your neighbor. Oh, oh damn. But this is what's fucked up. Is I dated this girl and I ghosted her when I didn't live in my apartment complex. Mm-hmm. She helped me move into my apartment complex, oh, okay? Mm-hmm. So she knew With my lived. mom. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Like, mm-hmm. all hands on deck. Let's do this. Uh-huh. And then, and then, like, I ghosted her just because she was a little bit young or she was doing, like, some immature stuff, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then she resurfaced in my life during Life is Beautiful and I was here and I was working yeah. and she kind of, like, popped in mm-hmm. and we probably hadn't talked for, like, I don't know, three or four months before I saw her again. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then I see her. It's life is beautiful. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. We're out drinking, whatever. And we just reconnect and that fire and lighted. Yeah, yeah, it was no. great. Yeah. And then so we we like dated for like two or three months after life is beautiful, something mm-hmm. like that. But before we reconnected, she moved into my apartment complex oh, oh, shit. because she was she ended up getting a job really close. I don't, I'm not going to say a lot of details because yeah. people are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then we were just cool neighbors. Mm-hmm. Reconnected, started dating. That's what happened. So. <laughs> After LIB, I met Alina. I oh. met her at Life is Beautiful, but I was fooling around with this other person. Uh-huh. So I didn't pick up any any flirtatious energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? More casual. But I was just like, dang, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she is very beautiful. She keepers. is. She's a stunner for sure. You she, guys are just a hot couple all around. It's true. When I first oh saw you guys, gosh. I was like, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks. They are hotties. Look at Back these in the day, two. I used to get hit on and I used to get compliments all the time. Now I roll with her. No one fucking sees me. No. No. Everyone fucking compliments her. And then when she's not even around, people say, your girl's so beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. Great. I was saying the other night, we were all chilling after Don't Tell Coming. I was like, there's some fucking babes. I mean, what? that was a room of babes. <laughs> Babes. Like I love the energy there. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take. I'll take it. I'm going to Fourth Friday with you or wherever it is <laughs> over there at the bar. <laughs> no, for real. Like when we were all in this bar after Don't Tell, it was just like it was a bunch of girls and Nick and his boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. that's really what yeah, it was. Like, yeah, and like Hassan and like yeah. Cody. Like yeah, just... there was like not a lot of dudes and a bunch of hot babes, and I was like, I'm here for this. Yeah, yeah. This roll with awesome. me. It's like, I don't really hang out with a lot of dudes. It's just the, the way it works. All, the whole Ferguson's team is all chicks. Minus, I know. I mean, once you get into cool. like. Yeah, they're super rad. There needs to be more females in power. Dominate, dominate the scene. Dominate we, we, it all. We need to do it. So, dating my neighbor, all of a sudden I get this text from Alina. She goes, "Hey, my roommate's throing a, a pumpkin carving night. It's, ho- it's around mm. Halloween. How cute! You should come down and like we'll just hang out." Yeah. I go, "Cool, right on." So she kind of first moved you. She totally did. And the whole yeah. time she was so respectful through like Instagram and like mm-hmm. we were talking about work, we we're talking about food, we we're mm-hmm. talking about events. She crashed one of my events on someone else's guest list. It was mm-hmm. so funny. So I get this other text from our friend Kat, and our friend Kat goes, yo, this isn't a pumpkin carving party. We're throwing her a surprise birthday party, so don't bring a fucking pumpkin. Bring something to drink. Um. I go, cha-ching. I go, perfect. Yeah. I'm there. Oh, I wait. Was, so it was her birthday. It was her she birthday. She didn't know it was a surprise party, and she wanted to spend it with you. So is she okay. a Libra or a Scorpio? She's a Libra. Her, bir- <laughs> her birthday's in 10th. Interesting. Mine's the 20th. I love October Libras. Oh my God. We're going to have the best month ever. Oh we're going to have the goodness. biggest part. We'll do it here. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I show, I ride my motorcycle down. I bring a bottle of You Mezcal. ride a motorcycle? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You've just upped your sex your appeal. Like- favorite person. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You've just upped your sex appeal like 20 times. <laughs> Jesus, Erica. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Man, you'll just. Just never compare. <laughs> Anna, go home and do it. We're gonna have to do this more often. You guys make me feel really good. Um, so We're going, like, Wait a minute. Okay. I knew she liked. I, li- <laughs> I knew she liked mezcal. I grab a bottle of mezcal. Mm-hmm. I drive my motorcycle down. I I'm nervous. Right? Like, why are you nervous? You're just going to a birthday party. Her. Right, yeah. right. And you just didn't know. Like, you didn't know yeah. what was going to happen. But also, it was like, a lot of these friends were like old friends that I kind of distanced myself from, mm-hmm. about, like, four mm-hmm. years ago. Mm-hmm. Because when I moved to Las Vegas from San Francisco eight years ago, I dated everyone <laughs> right away. Oh. Right away. Like, overlap. Mm-hmm. And then I made friend groups. And then I'd go out with these friend groups. And then I'd learn that my friend I just made... I hooked up with their ex, oh but I didn't know. 
and that was That's everybody. That's how this city is. Well, it's so small, and the the, yes. the gay community, <laughs> let alone the lesbian community, is fucking <laughs> tiny out here. Yeah. I can't speak for the lesbian community, but I can speak as a single straight girl, oh, and uh, that's a very small community, too. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> I, like, I just, just say, like, you know what? I'm kind of a friend hopper just because <laughs> when you, I'm in a scene, I'm in a scene. It, it, <laughs> right. It's just Las Vegas is a scene. Yes. Yes. As a human being that's trying to hook up with somebody else, you're going to F your friends, and you're going to F your friends' friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say fuck on this show. Right. Don't worry. Totally. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean? And then so I was like, okay, shit. I'm going to get reintroduced <laughs> to this old friend group. I don't know if they remember. I don't know who's going to be there. I might get punched in the eye. Whatever. I did it. Fine. <laughs> nice. So then I roll in. We're, we're drinking. She's kind of being weird. I'm being weird. Anyways. Try to be cool. Long story mm-hmm. long. At the end of the night, we're listening to fucking emo music. Mm-hmm. And we're all flashing back to our youth. And yes. we're, we've killed two bottles of mezcal. Oh, my God. It's, it's me, Alina, Kat and Sarah, who are her best friends. And when they leave, I go, well, I can't. I rode my bike here. I, there's definitely no way I can leave. She goes, oh, you just stay with me. Mm-hmm. Takes me mm-hmm. upstairs, mm-hmm. kills the lights, and just instantly makes out. And we've <gasps> literally spent seven days apart since that day. Oh, my God. I yeah. love that. Isn't that crazy? This is amazing i okay. just love this interview this I is love this. this is we've talked about <laughs> interviews that we've done yes yeah. we've talked about interviews that we've done and they kind of like went in a direction we were never expecting right. you know i mean this was supposed to be like our pride interview but this is i mean there's a little pride here uh, there's a lot I'm of proud pride of, I'm proud of being gay yeah. with my wife but yeah, also but also it was going to be a big of downtown scene you're dirty. you're yeah. just you've been such a big part of this whole thing but just the surprising takeaways from this are just gonna blow people away and i love they that. blew us away i know <laughs> Oh, I down lo- to the motorcycle. I, I love this <laughs> so much. Um, we need I, to end on one very important yeah, question. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a, just a little cheeky fun question. So if you had to pick one of the following to describe your lady, would you pick cool and tingly, warm and buzzy, or warm and tingly? <laughs> is she cool and tingly, warm and tingly, or warm and buzzy? Buzz, buzz. <laughs> Wow. We'll explain why afterwards. Okay. Yes. I, 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 you're going to understand. I can anticipate where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, so I'm going to say. Is she cool? She's she super warm? fucking cool. Uh-huh. I mean, she's super warm too, but like she's that chick that walks into a room and she just fucking takes over yeah. because she's so bubbly and fun mm-hmm. and whatever. And like tingly buzz. She's a lightweight. I would say buzz, but we'll just go cool and tingly. Cool, cool and, tingly. and tingly. Well, All right. that leads us to your <laughs> Thank takeaway. Thank you, for the <laughs> Joe's International, <laughs> our other sponsor. By the way, we have some clitoral stimulant. Oh, okay. It's fabulous, delicious <laughs> lube for you guys to play later. And um, we have cool and tingly for she you. The Arctic. You are the Arctic clitoral <laughs> stimulant. This is cooling and tingling. Thank God. And that is for you to take care. It's so hot right now. It I is. Don't think I can introduce. Yeah. And hot also in a the bedroom. And also a bonus is the flavored arousal <laughs> mint chip chill. <laughs> Which will numb you. <laughs> Thank you to Joe's International for being our sponsor yes. and sending us. Thank you to System way Joe. Too much lube. <laughs> this is phenomenal. We got everybody should the have the lube. Yeah, and, I yeah. mean you got to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you weren't a lube person before, you are now. Everybody should be a lube person. It, it is the official Arctic clitoral stimulant, <laughs> and this is the cooling tingling because your girl's so Thank cool, you. and Thank she gives you. everybody the tingles. And this the mint it. chip chill is one of the uh, taste testers we have done in previous episodes all right keepers we have had a phenomenal episode (laughs) yes so um erica before we go any links or kinks or no socials you want to drop yeah so yeah, people can say, find you and reach out and just yeah. become a part of your world because it's clearly i just mean goals my instagram <laughs> erica underscore s bell that's my instagram i cross promote a ton of things ferguson's downtown is a city block so we have multiple things going on mm-hmm. um vegas test kitchen with jolie menina delicious delicious there's seven chefs there there's pop-ups they also do a comedy night oh wow they have mm-hmm. great craft cocktails things like that ferguson's has over 20 different businesses that you can come and support so ferguson's downtown.com go there yeah, yeah. follow mm-hmm. us on instagram ferguson's downtown gather house has 
a bunch of local creators as well that all started at Market in the Alley. Actually, mm-hmm. all of our businesses started as vendors at an outside uh, open air market called wow. Market in the Alley. So cool. Um, so that's even bigger reasons to come down here and support yeah. them because yes. they're, they've grown into brick and mortars. Like, yeah, these guys are killing it. And we're just we're just happy to be incubators. So you can buy Don't Tell Comedy tickets mm-hmm. through our our website at yes. Ferguson's downtown. Okay, we're gonna have music programming. We're gonna have the, this bar opening up. So if you want anything, you gotta go to the Instagram mm-hmm. for the easy mm-hmm. deets. Yep, uh, I, I promote stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. So really, that's it. I and can't think of anything else. Don't yeah. forget to dr- get a drink at Mothership Coffee because they're the shit. I'm a coffee snob, and they are the shit. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and it's so, just so cool. It's like they're just great. They even have like a uh, wine and ciders yes. and beers and yeah. stuff. It's so super cool to- in there, and it's n- not Starbucks. Well, and for sure. And Ugh. I think this is a great heads up for anybody coming to Vegas, and we'll post some links in in the show notes and just. Yeah. You, if you want to just go straight to the source, you just hit up Erica on Instagram. For sure. And this is this place to be and just... And Vegas is open! Time. Yes! <laughs> calm down! It happened so fast and we're ready. Oh we my God. We are so ready. Locals are ready. Like, at first I was like, do I want tourists back? But I was like, please come to my city. I miss yes. traffic. Come kind back. Of. Yeah. It was great. No, thank you for your time and just thank chatting you. with us. Yeah, we just yeah. really thank adore you, you since we've met you and yes. we just can't wait to work with you some more and All be right. here for all the fun stuff. Until yeah. next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh girl that was so fun yes you guys rock catch us every wednesday and for our monthly specialty podcast please join our patreon you'll get that the last saturday of every month and if you rate and review us on apple Podcasts, you can be entered into our super sexy monthly giveaway and if you want to share your voice on the show you'll find everything you need to know at keeping it casual podcast.com